Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about basic cut set incidence matrix that is B. In previous video, we have covered element node incidence matrix A cap, bus incidence matrix A, and then branch path incidence matrix K. Okay, so uh, and later after deriving this matrix B, we are going to relate this B with matrix A and also with K. So that's why I would like to write uh, um, A, that means bus incidence matrix. So in previous video, we have already covered. So this is divided into two sub uh, matrices like this, AB and AL. Okay, so this is element by bus. So this corresponds to branches and this part corresponds to links. Okay, so if you want to have any kind of clarifications and all, please refer my previous video and I'll be giving that link in my description. Here also you can check it out. Okay, now coming to the kth uh, uh, matrix. So what is kth ma uh, k matrix, matrix k? So this matrix k, you know, so this will give gi gives us the incidence between branch and path. Okay, so that's why matrix K is called branch path incidence matrix. And we have already derived the relation. So what is that? AB into K transpose equal to unity matrix. So therefore, K transpose is AB inverse. So later we are going to use this relation. Okay, so keep it in mind. And now coming back to our basic cut set incidence matrix. So what this matrix will tell us? So it will uh, gives the information about the incidence of elements to basic cut sets of a connected graph. Okay, so now uh, we need to consider a connected graph. So you can see we can have a connected graph here. You can observe. So this is the connected graph. So this connected graph is not only made up of elements but is made up of both the branches and links. So what are the branches here? So here 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are the branches. What are the links? 5, 6, 7. So these are the links. Now what are the elements now? How many elements are there? So mathematically this is both branches and links. So definitely 7. So here the branch count is 4. Here the branch count is 3. So that's why the total elements are seven so it's all known facts okay so if you are having any doubt please refer my previous video okay now let us go with the elements of this matrix b so let's have the nomenclature like this okay so this b i j is equal to one so when we write it as one if ith element is incident to and oriented in the same direction as the jth basic cut set then we can write it as plus 1. When we can say Bij as minus 1, simply it is just the opposite case. That means if ith element is incident to and oriented in the opposite direction as the jth basic cut set. Now, when we can say Bij as 0, it is very simple. If the element is not incident to the jth basic cut set, simply we put zero now go with the matrix okay so let's have the matrix this is element by basic cut set that means what is the dimension e by b element by basic cut set how many elements are there seven elements are there so let me write all the seven elements okay so these are the seven elements okay so and uh, in the case of basic cut set if you are having four branches like this in our example, okay, so four basic cut sets should be there. Okay, so directly I can write the table like this. So while you are uh, having the basic cut set, you have to follow the orientation of our basic cut set as the orientation of our branch. Okay, so this is one. First cut set, second cut set, third cut set, and here we go with the fourth cut set. Okay. 
So if we put the table, then it will be convenient for us to write the numbers. That's it. Okay. So now let us count the uh, basic cut sets as A, B, C, and D. Okay. So let us go with the first cut set. Okay. Right. So here is the first cut set. Okay. Let us name it as A. So it should follow what direction? the direction of our branch like this so put how many elements were cutted by this basic cut set a two elements that is one and then six and obviously we followed the direction of uh, first element so it can't be negative and you concentrate on the sixth element so the sixth element is in this way okay so what is the cut set direction that is in the opposite way. So that's why we need to consider minus 1 for 6th element. Is this cut set is having any interaction with rest of the elements? No. So that's why keep 0 for rest of the elements like this. Now second basic cut set. So this is how you need to draw the second basic cut set. The rule is that you must need one branch and you may have many links that is the rule okay so this is a basic cut set b and what direction it will follow it will follow the direction of branch okay so like this you need to have the directions for the cut set like this okay now how many elements were cutted by this basic cut set four so what are they there are uh, second element and then fifth element sixth and then seven also and obviously we followed the second elements direction so it can't be negative now look at fifth element so is this fifth element direction is in the same way of our uh, basic cut set b no it is in the opposite direction the basic cut set is in this way okay so that's why we need to have minus 1 for fifth element now go for the sixth element so sixth element direction is in this way the cut set direction is also in the same way so it should be a positive value so keep plus 1 only and look at the seventh element the seventh element orientation is in this way but the basic cut set orientation is in this way so that's why seventh element value should be minus 1 so rest of the elements are not having any interaction so keep zeros okay so now go with the third cut set that means you have to involve the third branch so i'm writing in an order so that we'll be having uh, you know a neat kind of uh, uh, matrix so that we can separate the matrix uh, and uh, later we are going to use those matrices and all let us see okay so uh, this is the third cut set C. What direction it should follow? It should follow the direction of our branch. Okay, so like this. This is the orientation of our cut set C. Okay, so how many elements were cutted by this basic cut set C? Three. So obviously, three will be there, and then five, and then seven so third obviously that is plus one look at five so fifth branch is in the same way of our basic cut set so it should be plus value and now look at the seventh element seventh element is also in the same direction of our cut set so seven is also plus one rest of the elements having no interaction so put zeros now go for the third i mean fourth cut set so we need to consider branch four okay so this is how the cut set should be okay that's it so this is the cut set d it will follow the direction of branch that is four like this how many elements were cutted by this basic cut set d only two elements that is 4 and 5 okay
4 and 5. Obviously, 4 should be positive. What is the direction of 5? It is in this way. Okay, so and the basic cuts the direction is also in the same direction. So, put plus 1. Rest of the elements, put zeros because they are not having any interaction. In this way, we can design the basic cut set incidence matrix B. And now, look at the pattern up to what are the branches? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so make a division over here. Okay, so make a division over here like this. Mm, no, not at 3, but at 4, right? So the upper portion belongs to branches and the lower portion belongs to 5, 6, 7 were links. Okay, so if you take any random kind of numbers, you can't have this kind of pattern. Okay, so it is like very headache kind of work. So you always take the branch count and link count in a systematic way so that the matrix formation and later the analysis will be easy. Okay, so that is the only thing. Otherwise, we can do it uh, like in any way. No problem. Okay, so now this can be separated as you look at the first uh, half that is branch uh, half uh, pattern. Is it not unity matrix? Yes. So, let us be represented that portion with UP. And look at the second half that is links. Do you have, uh, do you find any pattern? No. So, that's why. So, because it is matrix B, keep B. And this will uh, tell us about links. So, BL. So, this is how we can separate the matrix B into two sub matrices. One is UB. And second one is BL. Okay. So, uh, um, later what we can do, the sub matrix BL. Okay. So, this BL is there, no? So, this BL can be obtained from bus incidence matrix A. So, we are going to relate these matrices, this matrix B with the previous matrices okay so there is uh, you know one to one correspondence of branches and basic cutters yes or no yes so bl into ab so what it shows bl into ab what it shows it will shows the incidence of links to buses yes or no so that's why so this product can be equated to al okay now from this relation what we can write uh, for bl it is simply al into ab inverse so look at this relation okay so what is ab inverse is it not k transpose so that's why bl equal to so call it as equation one it will be easy to remember Okay, now recall. It's not remembering, so but of recall. So, what is BL now? This is AL into K transpose. Like this, we can relate, we can relate basic cut set incidence matrix BL. So, here UL, we are not touching that part. Okay, so we are talking only about links portion. So, BL can be related in terms of AL and K. So, this is how the basic cut set incidence matrix should be designed. And in the coming video, we are going to uh, learn about argumented cut set incidence matrix B cap and then basic loop incidence matrix C and then argumented loop incidence matrix C cap. So, these matrices will tell us the incidence between, you know, so different uh, first uh, element uh, versus nodes or um, branches, paths, loops. So, like that, it will relate. So, we can relate each and every term. Okay, later we can use this terminology to analyze the power system. Okay, so... This video is only about basic cut set incidence matrix. I hope this video is uh, clear for everyone. And thank you so much for watching this video.